Welcome to my home, the original Pinecone Cottage. I'm Pam, the chef owner of Pinecone Cottage Tea House and Catering, and I'm going to make myself a little spot of tea before I head off for a busy day at the tea house. This is our tea of the month. It's called Strawberry Magic Moon. It comes in a two ounce bag, and each one of these bags will make about seven to 10 pots of tea, depending on the size of your pot. I have a two cup teapot here with a strainer. And I'm going to put about two and a half tablespoons of tea in here to start. And I'm going to start brewing it while we talk about this beautiful tea. Just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to pour my hot water over. This water has come to a nice boil. And I'm gonna let that steep for three to five minutes, or as long as it takes for us to talk about the beautiful tea. So this tea blend is, hopefully you can see it there, is 56% black tea, 20% green tea, and then there are some dried papaya bits in here. There's some rose, um, rose hip peel, there's some sunflower um, petals in here, and also some um, uh, rose blossoms. And the sweet papaya interacts with the tartness of the um, rose hip, and it gives it a really great flavor. Um, this tea is great iced, and it's truly magical, which is why we call it Strawberry Magic Moon. So at the tea house, we use these mesh bags to brew the tea. And of course, we're um, brewing tea for 30 guests usually at a time, so we can't go through this process. But um, if you're going to purchase um, beautiful tea and exquisite tea, you want to have exquisite teaware to make your tea with and to drink your tea out of. So I suggest for home use that you purchase a teapot that has a strainer in it like this one. And that way after your tea is brewed to the proper um, time, you can either remove the strainer or you can leave the strainer in depending on how strong you like your tea. But if, it, if the teas are overbrewed, if they're black or green teas and you overbrew them, they will have a bitter taste to them. So usually if you end up with bitter tea, it's because you've overbrewed it and you bruise the leaves. So this beautiful um, tea set was um, gifted to me by a um, guest of ours. Avery, um, Natalie Avery, who had her shower at our um, lovely tea house and then um, honeymooned in Japan and brought me this lovely Japanese tea set. So I'm going to enjoy this tea. Let me see how it tastes. It's perfect. So I will see you all at the tea house. Thanks for joining me.